Hey guys, I the myself here and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13.2 developer beta 2 expected release. So we're going to break down when we can expect the next update for 13.2. I also want to talk about in this video what we can expect with the next beta. Now if you follow me here on the channel, iOS 13.2 beta 1 has been horrible in the battery and in bugs, right? So in this video, I want to talk about what we can expect for Apple to bring with the fixes for this software. Now, iOS 13.2 has been out for approximately one week. So as you see here, Apple's developer portal, iOS 13.2 beta 1 was released on October the 2nd, as well as iPadOS 13.2 beta 1 was released on October the 2nd. So as of the filming of this video, today is October the 9th. This beta has been out for one week and I've been testing this software out for quite some time now and I have to say it isn't the best update till date. There's many fixes that need to come with the next beta but before we get to that I want to talk about when can we expect the next beta because I know a lot of you guys are hoping to see the battery being fixed again back to normal on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Unfortunately I don't get the same battery life at all. The iPhone just drains so quickly, 42% as of right now. I charged it to 100% this morning. It is 2 p.m. That is horrible battery life compared to what iOS 13.1.2 and below offers on the new iPhones in particular because the iPhone 11 Pro Max is just a beast in battery performance and iOS 13.2 has just destroyed that. Now, we can expect iOS 13.2 developer beta 2 on October the 16th or the 17th next week. It appears that Apple is on a two weeks release cycle as of right now. And for public beta testers, after we see beta two for developers, you should see this beta release for you as a public beta tester. So developer beta two should be released anywhere from October the 16th through the 17th on two weeks and public beta first beta for you guys should be released around the same date. So what can Apple improve within the software? For starters, of course, the battery. The battery has been horrible, as I mentioned. This needs to be addressed ASAP on every single device. Now, the only device that doesn't look to be having any issues is the iPhone SE for whatever reason. So that's great news for iPhone SE users, but also the new audio sharing feature. So let's go ahead and play some music here. And if I attempt to play or share audio with other devices on iOS 13.2, that feature does not appear to be working properly on these devices. So let's put the music down here and go to audio share. So audio share on 13.2 should be able to be working on other iOS devices as well. So if I bring another iPhone running iOS 13.2 here, it should bring the audio feature, the audio sharing feature over to this device, but unfortunately it doesn't look to be working properly. As you see here, you can bring another pair of headphones or another iPhone or iPad next to this iPhone running 13.2 and another iPhone running 13.2 as this one is here and it should give us the audio sharing feature, but it isn't working properly. So that definitely needs to be addressed on the next beta. So audio sharing, one thing that needs to be addressed. Number two is gonna be the battery, or number one, the battery, audio sharing number two. And of course, these are betas, and beta software tends to have issues and problems, but Apple hopefully will resolve most of these on the next beta because this software just took a deep dive south on my brand new iPhone. Another thing that also needs to be addressed is the app crashing issues. There's just so many app crashing. Apple apps as well as third-party applications continue to crash. Dictation is not working properly and the crashes just continue within the mail application, the messages application. So if you're having app crashing issues, battery issues, and overall performance issues, you're not alone. The only thing that appears to be working right on point is animations and just scrolling through the software, going through the app switcher, opening and closing apps. There's no problems in that department. It's the battery, the app crashing, and of course the audio sharing feature. And those are the things we should see Apple bring with iOS 13.2 to improve upon the software. And we may see additional new features and changes that is yet to be determined. But again, we can expect this software in about another week here. It looks like Apple is on a two weeks release cycle from the previous beta for iOS 13.2. But thank you for watching today's video, guys. I know you guys are anxious for the next update as well as I am to see improvements to the devices. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.